Today we are going to show you how to compare the fundamental metrics of multiple companies at once and also give you a brief rundown of how fundamental metrics work on TradingView including how you can chart things like total revenue for any company on the planet. This works for international companies as well as US-based companies. So you can go all around the world looking at different valuation markers for companies or exploring their underlying business. So let's just start over quick so we can make this abundantly clear. When you head up to the top of the chart, there is a button here that says indicators, metrics, and strategies. You're going to click that, but you can also press slash on your keyboard. This is a keyboard shortcut for you. Press slash, it'll open up the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu right away. Now on the left-hand side, you have your scripts, technicals, financials, community scripts, and invite only scripts but in this video we are focusing on financials because this video is for the fundamental investors the people who want to chart the underlying business numbers for specific companies globally now we currently have income statement selected and if we scroll down we can see all of the data that we can chart for this company's income statement Keep in mind, we currently have Tesla selected up here, TSLA. So all of this financial information in this example right now is for Tesla. We could select balance sheet, we could select cash flow, and we could select, select statistics, which is things like price to sales ratio price to earnings ratio and everything in between but let's go back to the income statement because in this video example we are going to show you how you can compare all of these financial metrics between multiple companies at once and show them on one chart so let's click quarterly revenue now we've clicked quarterly revenue and here we have a chart of tesla that's going to be the candles this is a price chart and right below is a revenue chart for tesla it's a quarterly revenue chart now if we go up to the indicators metrics and strategies menu again we're going to click this we can click total revenue quarterly again and we can click it again and now that we've clicked it multiple times all we have to do now is edit these multiple you know these revenue metrics here we selected it three times and in each instance it corresponds to tesla but if we go to the settings wheel here and click that settings wheel and then go to inputs we can add another symbol so let's go ahead and add google so we add google now so now we have total revenue for tesla we also have google and let's click this settings wheel again and let's add another symbol and let's add apple and now we add apple why don't we keep this going and one important thing to remember here is we do want to make this chart bigger because this is the focus of this analysis so we double click now we have a chart of tesla in yellow or a chart of apple excuse us apple in yellow google in teal and tesla in blue you can always see the color coordination right up here to keep adding symbols we go up to our indicators metrics and strategies menu and click or we press slash on the keyboard and let's add total revenue again and total revenue again and now we have two more companies that we can adjust why don't we continue to add some big companies in this case let's add amazon and in this case let's add how about AT&T. So now we have added the quarterly revenue for Tesla, Google, Apple, Amazon, and AT&T all on one chart, and we can study all of this data as needed. In addition, if we right-click on this scale here, we can ensure that we are studying this chart the way we want. We could move the scales to the left. We could move it back to the right. And in addition, if we right click again, we can change this to percent. So now we can see sort of the percent growth of quarterly revenue over time. And of course, the 
further you zoom out, you'll start to see who the real winner is in terms of faster revenue growth. And what's so interesting about this example already is Tesla is the company in blue. And look at this quarterly revenue growth on a percentage basis. But we are going to right click again, and we're going to now click index to 100, which is going to give you a similar result to a percent, but it's another way you can chart these comparisons. You can also do logarithmic, and you can even make sure that your labels and lines are displaying everything perfectly. Let's quickly go back to regular, and because this chart is getting rather hard to see with so many symbols, let's remove AT&T, let's remove Amazon, and let's remove Apple. Now we are just looking at a comparison of Tesla versus Google. If we double click on any line, we can customize that line exactly to our needs because Tesla is more so known for being a, a red color and Google sort of has a green. Why don't we make uh, Google in this instance more of a green color? and have a thick line and let's go to tesla down here double click and make their color red make the line thicker and do we want to see the labels yes let's see the labels it makes it a lot easier to see we could even change it so that it is for example an area chart or a line chart or a histogram or a, an, a, uh, an area as we already showed, but uh, columns as well. This is totally up to you and your needs. You can build the most perfect comparison chart for you. And it's as easy as ensuring that when you are studying the fundamentals for a company, you go to the indicators and me metrics and strategies menu, you find the metric that you want to study, and you click the number of times that you want to study it. If you wanted to enter 10 companies, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we already have these two here, nine, 10. And now we can go into each of these by clicking the settings wheel to inputs, click another symbol, and add the company that we want to see. If it was Twilio, we could type in T-W-L-O. In another example, we could go add another symbol and we could type in Netflix and now add Netflix. And we can have as much fun or as much research or do as many deep dives as we need just by ensuring we add the necessary number of indicators to the top left here and then clicking the settings menu to adjust those. One last viewpoint here that's really important about this is lots of this data can be shown or all of this data can be shown in several different ways. For example, did you know you can click and hold and drag the data onto the chart? So let's actually remove this for now and just focus on the chart. And now we are able to compare a price of Tesla. These candles are the price of Tesla and we can compare it to the revenue of Tesla. And you can start to do some interesting research such as let's measure the distance between Tesla's current quarterly revenue to its current price. And you'll see that this is probably the widest spread on this scale uh, in Tesla's history. And remember, you're going to oftentimes see different scales because one scale is the price chart and one scale is going to be the fundamental metric. And you can always merge these into one. There's going to be a feature here, merge all scales into one, or you can keep them separate. It's totally up to you. In addition, if you wanted to view these financial metrics in the multi multiple chart layout, well, you could use the multiple chart layout right up here to do really uh, any comparison that you want on several different charts. For example, here is the multiple chart layout for two uh, uh, charts at once. So we're going to click this chart and now we have a multiple chart layout, Tesla and Tesla. But why don't we keep Tesla up here and down here, let's change it to Apple. So now we have Tesla at the top, Apple at the bottom, multiple chart layout but let's compare their financial metrics. At the top of the menu, we can click indicators, metrics, and strategies. We can add total revenue quarterly. So now we have in this top chart, Tesla price, 
revenue. Let's double click to make this a revenue chart. Now let's go to this Apple chart. Let's go ahead and add quarterly revenue to Apple. Now let's double click. And now we have Tesla at the top and Apple at the bottom in two separate charts to make it crystal clear that these are separate studies going on. Everyone performs research in their own unique way. They do things a little differently. And yes, you can overlay these symbols all onto one chart as shown earlier but indeed you can also see them now on the multiple chart layout in addition using the multiple chart layout you can do so much more such as syncing these symbols intervals times or crosshairs so let's say for example you wanted your crosshair to correspond on each chart well and let's actually make the uh, intervals and time the same as well well now you can very quickly sort of see what's happening on either chart by watching the crosshairs on both both charts. So let's see if we can get the uh, time scales a little more similar. So let's click auto there and let's click auto here and let's zoom in. Let's see if we can get this to September. There's September here. Okay, so we can line this up nice. Okay, perfect. Now you can see the crosshairs are getting a little more similar here. And this is another way you can compare these financial metrics. Lastly, for the financial metrics section, this is so important, you can indeed explore the world of PineScript. This means that there are countless coders and developers who are coding fundamental metrics in PineScript. That's the Pine Editor down here at the bottom. If you click the Pine Editor, this is where you can start to type in your custom code to create any script you want, to manipulate the data to your needs, to perform strategies or back tests. It's all available to you with a little bit of coding knowledge. One last tip about that is if you open the indicators and strategies menu and go to community scripts, you will find endless community scripts that are related to financial metrics. So you could type in even portfolio. So let's type in portfolio. And here you have all sorts of interesting uh, custom scripts from members of the community related to portfolio. If you were interested in growth stocks and you wanted to see what community members were creating with their custom code around growth, well, in this community scripts section, you can see all of the different growth scripts that have been coded. To get started, all you really have to do is select a script that looks interesting to you and it will be added to your chart. This one says portfolio performance. EP means editor's picks. Quant Nomad means they coded this. This has 614 likes. We can view the Pine script by clicking the source code here, or we can read more about it and how it works by clicking here. For now, let's just select the script. So we click and we will now exit out of the fundamental view. We'll now enlarge the chart. And now we have this custom coded script on our chart, which is designed to show some really important and cool details around a portfolio. If you double click the script and go to inputs, this is where you're going to be able to uh, adjust this script for your liking, including running some portfolio analytics right on your chart, adding the symbols that you own and their percentage, adding the start date, adding the initial capital to see what you're up or down, and so much more. There are countless scripts like this. This one is also happens to be very beautiful, and it's important when you do go into scripts to pay close attention to this uh, editor's picks tab because the editor's picks tab and if we scroll down let's see will mean that it has sort of passed a rigorous process by our open source um, uh, pine coding team at TradingView. So that is how you compare fundamental metrics. It's how you use PineScript to get into fundamental metrics. It's how you dive into the multiple chart layouts to see various fundamental metrics. And most importantly, it's how you compare the fundamental metrics of multiple symbols at once. We just click quarterly several times. Let's double click. Here is our quarterly revenue chart and now let's start to hit another symbol and we're going to add Apple to this and we are going to add Google to this and why don't we also add what's a, an obscure name that might come to mind well we could add Verizon to this 
and not so obscure, but we can add another symbol and let's do Ford, so F. And now just like that, we have this huge revenue chart of all these different companies and it's up to us to sort of uh, uh, make it the perfect look and feel for us. So we could click this X to remove these, or we could just hide them if we want to bring them back at some point. And now we can sort of see, well, let's hide Tesla, and then let's do this. How about this? Now we are looking at Apple versus Google quarterly revenue. And if we zoom out, we can see sort of a super interesting trend about Apple versus Google. Google is indeed catching up to Apple. They have never reported more revenue than Apple, fun fact, but you can see this is probably the closest they've been in some time. And this is the type of analysis you can do. Keep in mind, you can draw on these charts all you want. You can add text annotations the same way you would draw on any trading view chart or type on any trading view chart. You can also type and draw on the fundamental charts. Thanks so much for watching and please send us your feedback. We look forward to your comments and everything you have to say about this tool, please go get started with it. The best way to get started is just by diving in and exploring everything. Thanks for watching.